All right, all right, all right. So for the longest time, I wanted to have a studio, a studio where I record my videos that I can just show up. I have my standing desk over here and I have a camera here. I can have a camera here in the future and something that looks pleasant to uh, the eye to you when you watch my videos. So what I have done, you have this beautiful, beautiful wood wall. You have books, floating bookshelves. Uh, soon we're gonna have actually a logo, a company logo, a little hipster light over there. I mean, my, this background might change, but what's not gonna change is this wooden wall. And you might be thinking, wow, that looks so real. It's actually not real wood. I might, I will gonna take you behind the scenes and I'll show you how we created this wooden wall so that if you want to create something similar for your home studio or your office, we are actually at our office, so you can do it as well and get a little inspiration because the key is when you do videos, you want to hear it either at a home or your office. You want to create an environment where you can just get up and shoot every single time. Whether you're teaching an online course, vlog, YouTube video, maybe it's uh, maybe you want to go live on Facebook or Periscope or YouTube. Whatever you're doing, who knows what other soft piece of software have come alive since you since I shot this video. But the truth is, video is not going anywhere. So I hope this video will inspire you. So let's go and I'll show you how I did it. It's basically like a sticker. So what do you want to do? You just want to take the corner and uh, once you find it, it looks like this. And it's super safe. It's not going to ruin your apartment if you're renting. So don't worry about that. And it's going to peel it this way and put it in a corner and make sure it's level. So that's really it. And then what we're gonna use, he took a spatula from home. It's not really, it might not work. But I think just the claw, and what you wanna do, you wanna start peeling and putting from one eye, and you want to use cloth to kinda push out all the bubbles. All right, so what we have done now, we, there are two ways you can go. You could have gone uh, vertically, and you can go to horizontally. So we can go horizontally. So now we have kind of a piece that we're gonna place over here. What you wanna do is, you want to you want to have it a little bit longer than you need because then you can just cut out the corners with a blade and I'll show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just start from that side and then we're gonna just go all the way and then add another layer, another layer, another layer. So what we did actually just now, we took the leveler, we, we put it up, we leveled it and then we left a little, couple little marks in the wall so we can see where we need to go. So that's really important because in the previous one we, no we noticed it was kind of a little bit crooked and once you align in the wrong way, you're kind of done. The next thing what we do, what we do, we start peeling and it's kind of hard to find at first. But what we do, we start peeling and once we peel about one third, we cut it up. So let me show you what, what I mean by it. Turn to the sideways a little bit. Perfect. So what we do, if he's helping me, keep pulling a little bit more. Perfect. So like right there. So what we do, we cut that off so you don't have so much keep tight. It doesn't have to be perfect. See? Boom. So that way you don't have so much paper behind you. So it's easier to create to work. The first round we kept so much paper it was annoying. All right, so we have made a lot of progress. We are almost all the way to the bottom. Not sure if you can see. Have to remove a couple of outlets. And overall, I think it looks pretty damn good. We have to fix that little area. Then we have to cut that corner. And I think we're gonna wrap all the way that wall as well. So that's what I have decided. Looks pretty darn good. But uh, it was a little bit harder than I thought, like anything. But we got the hang of it and let's go, let's finish. Here we are. <laughs> Wall is done and we're gonna do a lot more. We're gonna add like a logo. We're gonna finish actually that wall as well. And this is gonna be my studio. This is where I'll be going live for Thrive Courses and my personal brand. So if you're looking to create a space at home or your office, where is your environment where you may be shooting your videos for your vlog or your YouTube channel or Facebook live streaming, whatever you're doing, it's, it's an easy, very affordable way to create good looking uh, fake 
wall, wooden wall. I ordered actually like US made recycled wood, great quality, but I think I paid $115 for like seven tiny little panels would barely cover the bottom. So it wasn't really efficient, budget efficient, especially we're renting this office. We don't know how much longer we're gonna be here. We have at least for another two years. We might need bigger space as we're growing and we didn't want to invest too much money, but this is a great, great fix for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Go ahead. Thanks for, to Christian. Christian, See you guys. if you haven't subscribed yet, please be to subscribe. Let me know if you did this project. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll check out some of my other videos and I'll see you soon.